What I'm planning to do today, folks, is to put up a water butt in my back garden. I bought the water butt just recently and get them from any standard um, big stores. This one was fairly cheap. And this leads me to my next point. The, the point about the bases are that I hear time and time again that the bases don't hold the weight of the water butt when it's full and that these particular bases will collapse over a period of time with the constant weight on them. They are quite a light plastic. As you can see, the wee clue about the nails is what we're going to move on to next. I've sort of given it away a bit here. So um, my idea to counter that and to make sure that this water butt doesn't collapse over the next few years is to try and fill it up with some sort of um, cement. So what I've done is I've used my drill. I've drilled out the holes and this is an effort to keep it's almost like if you build a sand castle and you put uh, obviously sand, cement's the same thing. It's all tapered in a way that it's going to slide right out of this whenever it's done. So as you can see, this is one that I've partially filled and I've put the nails in a type of lattice work. They're not moving, that's not going to move. When that concrete hardens to level, should stay in and firm a good base. This is the next one. That's the one that's full. That's the finished job, albeit give it a bit of a clean up. Turn it over, lock it in with the other ones. There's four of them in total. Put it down and put the base back on. So uh, really folks, it's a solution for any of you that are thinking about putting one of these up. These bases really don't hold a lot of water and they will collapse over a period, period of time. So it's something you might want to think about. Uh, just a little idea to stop that from happening. Water butt should be fine, but the base is probably not that uh, sturdy, a bit lightweight. Thank you for your time.